Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Punk back with another video, and today we have a really good one. We kind of punk reacts, we kind of punk the player because we are going to be watching ourselves play Street Fighter 6, and you know, I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the game and all that throughout the video. If you want to hear about Street Fighter 6 and you interested in hearing about it, without further ado, I need you to go like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notification bell on. And let's get into it yeah but i am real here and oh you see the whiff punish there with the sweep i was just trying to test some things out trying to figure out some combos yeah so i was just pretty much trying to figure out combos and get used to how the game felt see the anti here you see this here fireballs are kind of recover fast in this game bro look at this watch how fast i got to do the dp Look at that boom. He was in the air already. Street Fighter 6 honestly felt pretty good to play. The only thing, bad thing was like the monitors that they were on weren't the best, which you can't really expect like a play test monitors to be the best, but I wanna definitely figure or play this game when I get the good monitor. You see here, I tried to perfect parry that, but I think I missounded it a bit. Now I got the punish, low forward, super. Ryu honestly felt pretty good in this game. He seems like he might be a very strong character, at least how you, Ryu usually is in Street Fighter, honestly. With punishing with sweep is going to be a very strong thing in this game because you get a hard knockdown from it. Oh, you see, ooh, I started figuring out some more combos there. I don't know if I, if you get two hits of EXDP, but I might have mistimed it, but you see uh, the fireball game. You see the fundamentals is still there in this game. And I wasn't really trying to learn too much. I just wanted to see how the game felt and just try out some combos. You see that hard knockdown sweep? That is like my favorite thing ever. When you whiff punish, you get it put in counter hit state. So it's a hard knockdown like if it, as if I whiff punish you in five and I got a crush counter. And then you see I got the combo there. Medium, medium into super. That is still a combo. Honestly, in this game, a lot of the combos felt the same as Street Fighter V. And like drive meter is definitely everything in this game. Uh, this fella I was playing, I was like, I think like the event hub's creator named Catalyst. And he was definitely going into like burnout state quite a lot using the EX bars. So if you want to really use EX bars in this game, you got to really think about it. And you can't block too much also. Cause you see his, look now he's burnt out. You see his gauge was going down and now he take chip damage. When you're burnt out, you take chip damage. So you can't block too much in this game because you go into burnout and then you see what happened there. I think I chipped him out. Oh, you see that Luke definitely has a new move there with his EXDP. EXDP, he can spike you down. And you'll see the spike down here. Look, see? But that costs like so much. That's like a bar and a half of drive gauge. So I don't know if that's really worth it. The end game commentary is pretty funny. Oh, and right there you see me get the stand medium punch link. That's the Street Fighter V. I don't know if that only works on counter hit, but it's in the game. You know what I'm saying? The stand medium punch into the super. So this game definitely gonna be very unique on how players use their drive gauge. Definitely gonna determine a lot of the matches. And right now I just played Luke. I think I just pretty much played Luke for most of the time. Yeah, I just I'm right here. I'm just trying to test out his zoning. And Sandblast is still pretty good. You're joking. Not another one. Oh, right there you see the combo. The stand medium punch counter hit jab jab upper. Mm, you see the whip punish with the target combo like a Street Fighter V. There's something cool that I do with Luke that's new in this game. He has like, where was it? I think it's like a wall. I forget. I gotta wait for it to happen. And I did not know how to do critical art at all. 
Justin later on in the video he comes and tells me some stuff that you can do so like later in the video you'll try to see me try some cool combos yeah I did the anti air super here yeah see that's a punish counter I'm not really sure on the air combos with Luke oh that's what it was there stand heavy kick pops you in the air or in counter hit so you might can do like stand heavy kick counter hit into like DP or something and Luke Oki in this game looks v insane from target combo with punishes he literally is right in front of you definitely gonna have to figure out the frame data in this game somewhat I tried punishing there but you see the fireball don't go as far as I thought it would or the super only the last hit go full screen and right there you see I think that's the drive impact I went for a random drive impact and it worked out I don't think you can um, do special moves into supers, which is honestly kind of weird to not have that unless there's like a way to get it. Uh, you see there I got a perfect parry. Crouch strong, jab, jab, count. Mm, look at that. I got some combos now with Luke. But yeah, I, I could not do a, a special move into super. So maybe that's something they're going to change. Oh, you can do EXs into super. Is that what it is? You can do an EX move into super? I didn't know that. Ouch. Ah, okay. He does it right here. The special move into level 3. Ah, okay. So they don't want you to just be able to just get super off of everything. And right now, I'm burnt out. When you burnt out, you move literally like a zombie. Look at his stance. You see his stance is so bad. You take chip damage. If you're against the wall, you get hit with drop impact. You kind of just body. There's nothing you can do. You got to really stay out of burnt out because there's so many minuses and not really any pluses, honestly. Yeah, I started getting a little, little aggressive, a little random. We're going to call it aggressive, though, so I don't hurt my own feelings. I never really grabbed in this game. But I just feel like since I'm just playing a beta, I don't really want to use grab that much. I feel like that's why I just decide I never want to grab ever. Spike down. Look at the damage on that. That is crazy. You can't jump at Luke in a certain health range. Like, he's just going to kill you, body. <clears throat> nah, I don't know why. I, I could have just done, like, fear since the DP. <laughs> I definitely can't wait to get my hands on this game or at least a beta or something and hopefully the beta has a trainer mode Yeah, right here is when Justin came in and he started telling me about this drive rush. I think it was called it was kind of like FADC But I didn't really get to use it much because it was kind of late. This is like towards the end of my play test I think I get like one more game after this Yeah, see I'm trying to get the combo but <clears throat> The monitor is pretty bad, like I said earlier. So, like, links like that is kind of hard to time on it. Oh, body. Kind of like the Tekken slowdown. It's pretty cool. Slowdowns like that is, is pretty cool in fighting games. I honestly had a ton of fun playing this. And I don't really have fun playing betas because I don't like betas much. But this was really fun. And I like here you see... Even he started using the little drive rush that Justin pretty much told us. Look, and then you can see me doing some combos right there. Like Fierce Link into... So what I'm guessing is that people are going to do that with whiff punish. Like that's going to be the... You whiff punish someone and then drive rush and finish the combo. I'm pretty sure that's like kind of what the... At least starting meta of the game is going to be. Like you see like right here, I'm trying to do combos, but I don't really know any. But the drive rush apparently also gives you more frame advantage on your moves. So if you do crouch strong drive rush, next time you might be able to do crouch strong, crouch strong, because for some reason it's like gives you more, more frame advantage on every button that you press after canceling into it. I'm, I'm interested in playing Jamie. I tried one game out. Oh, right there. You can see right there. I did stand strong, crouch strong after the drive rush. So you can see me use it a bit better with Ryu because I felt more comfortable playing Ryu. 
Like he just, you know, it's just natural to fight play real. And right there you can see Ryu has a forward heavy kick that looks really good. Like that move is so dumb. You can't, it don't look like you can punish legs on block, at least from there, from this build. So you definitely see me use a little bit more of the mechanics at this part. Since I didn't get any training room or, or like time, I kind of just was playing a fella the whole time. I only could do what I was told and stuff. But you see right there the combo. And you kind of see my Ryu going in with all the combos right here. So you get to see a little bit of how the combos look in this game. And it honestly feels pretty good. I just, I'm pretty sure they're going to just freshen up on some of the animations. And, you know, just make everything look clean and nice. And then probably soon by a build soon, you'll probably see the game look a lot better. The game honestly is feeling pretty good and I enjoyed playing it a lot. And that's why I decided to make a video to share all my thoughts and, you know, just run down what I was thinking when I was playing and what I was noticing, what I found out, all that type of sort of stuff. So I help, hope it could help you understand the game a bit more. And maybe if you new to Street Fighter, I hope you can enjoy the game and maybe look forward to getting into it in the future so let me know what you thought about today's video and let me know what your thoughts about street fighter 6 is and if this helped you at all let me know down in the comment section below and as always i will see you in the next one